So how do we diagnose this? Does anybody know? Fecal, perfect. So we need to make sure that we do a fecal float plus clinical signs. If we have an animal who has other clinical signs and we do a fecal float on it and find coccidia, it might not be their cause of disease. So you need to make sure you take into account the whole clinical picture. It can be relatively easy to find. So unlike Giardia, it's not as tricky to find. Once you know what you're looking for, you can usually find it. It is still pretty small, but a little bit bigger than Giardia on a slide. And you can have different species on your fecal. So you want to check for different varieties of the sporocytes and the sporozoites that will lead you to have different species. <coughs> so this is just an example of them more close up. So you can see the sporocytes right here, the different numbers of them. So challenges to diagnosing it via fecal. You need exp an experienced person to look at this. Um, you need to be able to catch it when you know what you're looking at as well. You need fresh samples, ideally. The animal might not be shedding at the time that you take the fecal sample as well. They can have a low burden, so maybe at the slide you're looking at, you don't have very many eggs and you miss them. And it might not be seen on the sample. So this is the same picture that was shown with the Giardia talk, but we replaced it with the appropriate sized isospora egg. So you can see that it is quite smaller than some of the other common eggs you might see, but um, on the previous slide you saw that there was usually quite a few on the slides. <coughs> 